finest Javier Baez. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been living under a rock, you would have missed the announcement earlier today that showed Javier Baez is going to be the cover athlete for MLB The Show 20. They announced it on all their social medias today. A lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people feel like he's the perfect choice. A lot of people feel like he's not deserving. You can find any opinion that you want to find if you look for it on Twitter, but at the end of the day, Chicago Cubs shortstop El Mago Javier Baez will be on the cover of next year's MLB The Show. And whenever MLB The Show does the cover athlete announcement, they always bring a super dope flashback of that card into the current version of the game. So here in MLB The Show 19, they gave us finest Javier Baez. It's actually like a perfect setup with Finest coming out right now. We get a free one. Well, not necessarily free. If you want this Javier Baez card, you have to pre-order MLB The Show 20 digitally on the PlayStation Store. He's not sellable on the market, so this is the only way you can get him. Now, I do have to let you guys know, Sony San Diego Studio, they did gift me this card, so it is going to be in my inventory thanks to them. But I'm going to pre-order the game too, just like everybody else, so it's all good. So, let's take a look at the Javier Baez finest card. Obviously, he's a shortstop. He can also play second, third, or center. And dude, against lefties, this card is going to be nutty, dude. 111, 122. That's insane. And then he's also got 98, 95 against righties with 87 vision. The big thing about this card is he's got diamond defense. 91 defense with 91 arm strength and 80 speed. This card... I think personally is better than Ernie Banks. I also think it gives Wagner a run for his money in terms of the best shortstop in the game because Wagner has the great contact, the great power, the great vision. The thing that's also made Wagner so good is that diamond defense and the really good speed. Baez has the power. He's got the diamond defense. 80 speed is pretty freaking good too. They're pretty close in my opinion just off attributes. So really quickly, I wanted to compare how this finest Javi Baez compares to last year's finest Baez because he got finest in both years. The first thing I'm going to say is shout out to Healy. I took a look at his video because I couldn't find any on my channel, so go subscribe to Healy. Um, don't look at the overall. The overall doesn't matter. 18's overalls were really weird. Uh, there was only like 20 99's in the game to begin with, and in 19, there's like over 100 easily. Um, but if you take a look, it's kind of similar. It's definitely more juiced in 19, which is kind of weird because he actually had a better year in 18, but he was insane against lefties. Great against righties. He had a lot lower vision in 18. He had lower defense and he had a little bit higher stealing in um, 18, but he also had a ton more secondary positions. So there's a little bit of a difference here, but relatively, it's going to be a great shortstop that has great defense, destroys lefties, and has got some pretty good speed. So of course, I've got him right in the leadoff spot. He is going to get as many at-bats possible. Uh, he's going to be playing short for me. Chipper Jones is going to be at third. I have Andre Dawson in right field because I just straight up cannot hit lately with Tony Gwynn, so Dawson is getting some play time. Other than that, it's pretty much the same God Squad. Let's see what this finest Javi Baez can do. All right, let's go. Taking on a Twitch streamer. I'm going to be at home. What's the pitching matchup looking like? Why do I have Bob Gibson in my rotation? I thought I took him out. I don't know. I'm facing a lefty, though, which is perfect. This guy's a Miami Marlins fan. I just... I'm super sorry, bro. I'm really sorry about that. It gets better. Trust me. His jerseys are actually pretty sick, though. He's got the pretty much exact replica of the... Miami Marlins uniform, so those are pretty sweet. Oh, dude, imagine that went off the base and went and buys his glove. That would be sick. Good pitch. Come on, turn two, Chipper. Oh, my God, look at the feed from Chipper Jones. Silver fielding, not a big deal. All right, let's go, Javi. We got Ron Guidry on now. That's a lefty. We should be able to crush something here. 122 power. Four seam outside. It's going to be our presence at the plate, dude. If you have a left-handed pitcher on the mound against Baez... You're playing with fire. 2-0. All right. I'm expecting a fastball inner half right here. That's what I want to see. Let's go. Give me something. I was right. Fastball inner half, but it wasn't really hittable. It was a two-seam right on the black. It's a good pitch. Come on, Javi. That was actually a power swing that somehow got held up. So 3-1. Come on, Baez. Get something. That ball is crushed, but it's going to get caught. It's going to be a line out. Hit it hard, man. Hit it hard. Oh, Griffey didn't miss it, though. That one's getting over the fence. Ken Griffey Jr. remains one of the best hitters in the game. Unreal swing. That's Ted Williams. I think that could get down. Let's go, baby. 
It's going to be a double for Chipper. Back-to-back -back extra base hits. Wow. To be honest, I kind of just forgot there were two strikes, but that was a hell of a pitch. Ball four. Okay. Here we go, Andre Dawson. Here's your chance to earn your stripes. Oh, that's a fair ball. Oh, my God. I can't believe that stayed in between the lines. Let's go. That's a double. That's scoring a run. Oh, my God. That was a fastball right down the middle. How did I miss that? Oh, man. All right. We got two. Team hit pretty well. So, I got to ask you guys. I know we're going to get finest set three a little bit later this week. Um, I don't know if it's coming out Wednesday or Friday or what the release schedule is looking like. Probably Friday, I would guess. But... Um, where does Javier Baez rank so far on the list of the finest cards? For me, he's he's easily top three, if not top two. I think he goes, because my personal favorite finest card so far, I think, has been the 98 Matt Chapman. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to say Anthony Rendon, but I love that Chapman. I love his power. I love his defense. But the fact that Baez has diamond defense with 90 plus power against righties and then over 100 against lefties, like... He's insanely good. I got to give him maybe two. He, low key, he could possibly be number one, but I need a little bit more time with him. Here comes Baez, second at bat, bottom two with two outs. He lined out to center field in his first AB. I, I'm okay with taking that. It was right down the middle, kind of, but I would rather swing at a fastball. Okay, now I'm just all over the place. Come on, Baez, you can't strike out in your debut. Come on, man. 0 2 already. That's a good pitch, but fairly easy to lay off. It's a good spot for it, though. Come on, Baez. Your back's against the wall right now. Get a hit. Here we go. Outside. Make him throw me strikes. He's only thrown me one strike, and it's 2-2 two -two because of my own mistake. There we go. And he is going to rip a double down the line. It stayed fair. I wasn't sure if that was going to get to the left of the chalk or not. Let's go, baby. Baez's first hit is a double. Oh, there's Griffey again, dude. Griffey's been so good lately. Everything, or every, you know, way I'm using Griffey, whether it's ranked seasons in a tournament, he's been so clutch. Chipper Jones, that one's gone. There is no weak spot in this lineup, I swear, man. You can't pitch to anybody. Oh, here comes Baez. He's got 98 speed going down the line. That's a tough one, man. I don't blame him on that. Wagner's not making that play. Banks isn't making that play. Nobody's throwing him out with 98 speed. Okay, back-to-back -back hits. I mean, I knew that, uh, not Dawson. I knew that Gibson wasn't going to be very good. I don't, like, once again, I don't even know why he's in my rotation. I must have put him in there for some reason just to, like, see something, and I forgot to take him out. And that's going to be a line out to Griffey, and we're out of a little bit of a jam. Still got a five-run lead. Oh, that's gone. Teddy ball game. Threw him a low and in slider. He went down to get it. Yep. Not a good pitch right there. Not a good decision. I think I had thrown that before, so I think he was completely sitting on it. So, I live and I learn. There we go. There's Baez. A magician with the glove. at a boy. All right, well, here comes Baez for his third AB. This time facing a righty. We're facing 99 Kenley. He's going to drop a sinker in there for a strike. Going to sit with a fastball here. Sinker inside. All right, 1-1. One, one. Big count right here. Let's win this. Oh, dude, why do I always swing and miss on the for the second strike? It always happens. All right, 1-2. That was a pretty good pitch. I hit it fairly hard to third base, but Hornsby snagged it up. All right, Baez, one for three. Ball four. Another walk. Griffey's on base. Chipper Jones hit a home run earlier. Oh, Chipper's trying to go yard again. I don't think that's getting caught, so you better get going, Griffey. You better get going. That is Chipper's third hit of the game. His third extra base hit at that because he had a double in the first inning as well. That's a triple. He's just a single away from the cycle. There we go. Yes, past two diving infielders, and Lou Gehrig gives us another run. It's now 7-1. to one. We are really putting the pressure on this guy. And Dawson continues right up the middle. Another hit up the middle. My God, we can't get out right now. That ball is roped to the gap. Johnny Bench giving us an even bigger lead. That might clear the bases with that 87 speed. It will. Johnny Bench with a three RBI double. It is now 10 to one. 
Well, that's gonna get down, I think. Yep, I'm not gonna score him because Javier Baez is on deck. And if I would have scored right there, that would have been a mercy rule. So Javier Baez gets another chance. If he gets an RBI, he could technically walk off this game. <laughs> He's facing Romo. <laughs> that was a great pitch. I just got bailed out so hard. That's a mercy rule. Oh my God, Baez. Two for four, a double. Technically a walk off. Oh man, I just realized that Chipper Jones didn't get a chance to get his cycle. Baez, a double and an RBI. He's got a nice swing. That hit I got there in the bottom of the fourth, that last one, kind of cheesy. Inside sinker, got it to right field on a late jammed. Is what it is. I mean, that's Emily the show. Griffey went off two hits. Johnny Bench with the three RBI double. We got a mercy rule today with this Baez card. Honestly, everybody and their mother is going to be making a Javier Baez debut video today. So you're going to see a lot of this card on YouTube. So I'm not too upset with me ending the game in the fourth inning. I got four ABs with him, two hits. He performed well, and he had some nice defensive plays. By the way, one thing I should probably tell you guys, I think, in case you're trying to complete finest collections, if you did go ahead and pre-order the game and you have this Javier Baez finest, you should be able to collect him in the finest. Yeah, you. I think you can collect him. I don't know. I, I have all the collections done, but maybe check back in a couple days when the next set of finest comes out. You might be able to use that as one of your finest. You don't need to buy another on the market. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments where you think this Javi Baez card ranks with all the other finest cards that have been released. Drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to keep up with the rest of the videos. Use code POSTSEASON for 20% off merch, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.